And it's gotta be Settlement Project That's the only thing that's soothing my soul Turn on the TV to Power Rangers Welcome to yet another episode of the uh, Color Commentary This is uh, Rashad uh, Of course we give you views from a different side I'm kind of distracted a little bit I'm coming at you from um, the uh, gentrified part of the quantum realm And I I'll tell you why that is you know we got nice and stuff over here in the gentrified part you know but i found this um this uh pim apparatus at the uh the airport in civil war and i was like oh that's kind of cool you know so i was like you know let me see what this is like so first of all you know i threw it at this airplane you know you see there you know it's like wow that's pretty awesome you know and then i like i took it one step further and i and, like i threw it at this fire truck you know it's like man, that's this is this is a lot of fun just shrinking stuff, you know. So then I, you know, I took it, and I, I threw it again, and I got this sailboat. I was like, wow, you know what I mean? But I, I think I kind of got like Icarus uh, flying too close to the sun because I was like, man, I want to do another boat. So I, I threw it again at another boat, and I missed. And um, yeah, we got <laughs> we got problems. I, we're, I, I apologize sincerely for this. We're going to work it out, okay? So while we're here in the quantum realm, realm trying to figure out what we're going to do with Earth, figured we'd go ahead and talk about Marvel's 20th movie. And that, of course, is Ant-Man and the Wasp. This is their third movie for the year. So we want to find out, has Marvel been able to continue that success that they've had uh, Black Panther and Infinity War were two of the biggest movies ever, not just of 2018, but two of the movie, biggest movies ever, both domestically and internationally. Was Ant-Man able to follow up with that? Let's talk, let's bring on our co-host and find out. So, uh, Mr. Danny, man, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a, whew, kind of a little distracted here, but I'm going to make do, man. Uh, what about you, man? What's going on? You know how I do, man. It's your boy, Danny J. Quick, man. I just had a really weird morning. I like I had this dream that I was an ant. Like I went and saw the ant, the movie Ant Man. I had a dream that I was actually an ant, and I was carrying uh -huh. this popcorn. But it wasn't popcorn; it was sunflower seed corn, and uh -huh. it was a sunflower, but it was pop like a popcorn, so it was like puffy. Uh -huh. And I was carrying it around, and I was eating it, and I, <laughs> I didn't share it with anybody. It was just like everybody was looking at it. it. Was like, is that sunflower seed corn? And I was like, it is. Uh -huh. It's special. But I was eating it, and then I realized popcorn isn't even a seed. Like, it's not a seed. It's a grain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I was like, this doesn't make any sense. And then when I woke up, I was really hungry, and I realized that I was late for work. So I had a really weird day. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, good stuff. All right. And uh, Mr. Uh, Ch Chuck Taylor, what's going on with you, man? Hmm. Okay, guys. You guys are... Some interesting days. Well, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, nothing. I didn't know the Earth was was smaller. I guess I wouldn't know that. I'm in. I'm in the in your hands, Rashad. Yeah. Don't shake me. Look out but, your window uh, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh sunflower seed popcorn. Interesting. Okay. All right. But uh, yeah, I'm KFH. I'm with KFH Party Easy here to talk about Ant Man and the Wasp. You know, Marvel. You know. Just hits them out every year. We get about two, three, four of them. So you know, this was another another pretty good one. Can't wait to get into a review of this one though. But let's go. All right. So and of course, uh, I'm Rashad, the owner and founder of Block Band Music and Publishing, a company that sells music. Some people weren't aware that we sell music, but music and instruments to march bands all across the nation. All right. Let's get into it here. How did this movie win? Danny, what you think, man? Uh, how did it win? Um, not in a lot of ways, man. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I didn't like this movie a lot. I had a, um, usually when I get out of the theater, I immediately repost my top five Mar Marvel movies or my top five. I didn't even think about doing that because the movie was so not good. <laughs> um, um, but how did it win? I'll say... That de-aging technology was fantastic. Um, I if I didn't know, you know, Michelle Pfeiffer and and uh, what's his name, the the uh, Donald, what's his name, uh, Michael, Michael Douglas, 
If I didn't know that, that they were like a hundred years old, I wouldn't have known it. It was, <laughs> it was like amazing. They, they really stepped forward with, um, with, with that technology. Like it's going to be crazy what they do in the future with it. Um, Michael Pena was the highlight of the movie for me. There was a lot of stuff in the movie that was supposed to be funny that just wasn't for me, but Michael Pena, yeah. um, his, his comedy was always hitting. And then, um, the, wow. Asian, the Asian actor who, who was um, the FBI agent? His stuff was always fun to me. I love that guy. I don't know his name, but but I love him in uh, uh, Randall Park. Yeah, I love him in Fresh Off the Boat. He's hilarious. Yeah, fresh um, Off the Boat. That's, I was uh, what he was on. I was like, I see him on something. Yeah, I really like him. Somebody, somebody, somebody killed me with his name. They called him Asian Colson. <laughs> <laughs> they, need to bring him they need to bring him in because he would be a great addition. That last little joke, that that last joke between him and and uh and 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 uh Paul Rudd was hilarious. It was like, oh, I thought you were trying to invite me to work. I mean, did you want to hang out? Did you? Did you want to hang out? <laughs> right. <laughs> I laughed so hard at that. Yeah. Crazy. I can see that one. Too. Um, but like, like I said, the 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 comedy was good. The um the de aging technology was good. Um, I liked Ghost. The the I liked the concept of Ghost. You know the 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 way it was filmed and and all of that. Um, just everything else was just a little too over the top or didn't make much sense for me. So. I mean, like Michael Pena, like I said, Michael Pena's character was was the highlight of it for me. I wish they and I wish they would have done more with um with Asian uh, Asian Colson. Uh, that would have been. Asian <laughs> Coulson. <laughs> I like that. That's hilarious. <laughs> was that it? Yeah, that's it. That, I told you. That was it. You got one. Four minutes. One win. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Chuck? What do you think, man? Oh, um, let's see. How how did this movie win to me? Um, I definitely thought it looked great. You know, it looked really great. Like seeing, like uh, Rash uh Tor was saying with the aging, you know, the what is the de what do you call it? What's it called? The de aging technology. De aging technology. Yes, that, mm. that I was like looking at it. I was looking at you know old dude at the beginning. I was like, hold up, he looks super young, right? There. It looks so much better than it was a few years ago. So they they they've been doing some some extra work with the with the technology portion. Wait, you said you said uh you said the part that you saw at the beginning. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see no part at the beginning because I seem to remember somebody being late to the theater. It caused me to be late. So I didn't see the very well, beginning. That's what you, I so you just watch it times. again. So you, you know you can go back and watch movies over again. Like a family right. feud. It's, you can do like that. family feud. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> this person's calling people out all the time. But uh, <laughs> back to what I was saying. Back to what I was saying. It's hard to be a, a movie reviewer, man. They come out all the time. Man, okay. crazy. But I went to the theater. I support the Marvel. I went there. But uh, anyways, outside, Luis was hilarious. Uh, I always enjoy his stories, the long stories. Those are like, you know, they got to be in every Ant-Man movie, you know, because without those, you know, they don't make the Ant-Man. Because the first, the, I still like the stories on the first one the best because he went like extra long and they just had, you know, everything going with those. But this one was really good too. So he definitely won. I like how it connected to Infinity War. I thought that was good that they brought that into the picture. It needed that, but it, it's good that it connected to Infinity War, so you can kind of get um, a little idea of what to expect for next year with that big movie. How they could possibly, you know, do some things. So seeing that, and also the, the going into the quantum realm, that was pretty cool. Kind of just learn a little bit more more about that on this one. Mm -hmm. um, that was kind of cool to to, um, to learn. I guess what, but it kind of seemed like it could do everything though. That was the only problem, I, I guess, with it. It's like everything heals people. You know, I guess you got the time vortex up in there that she was talking about, and then got some weird looking dust mites trying to eat you or something. Mm -hmm. You know, grades. she gets she gets magical powers, you know, in there somehow. So I guess it gives you powers as well. It, it has everything. It's like a genie. It's a genie in a bottle. Mm -hmm. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> I guess those are probably the main points I thought it won. You know, it was funny. I enjoyed 
I enjoyed the humor in it. Um, wasn't quite as funny as the first one. The lines didn't catch. They should have had. Well, I, I'll leave the other part on what they could have worked on or what they didn't win. So, but, but yeah, for what what I think the way they won, those were the points I, that I can give them for that. So go ahead, Rashad. You take it away. Okay. Um, I mean, as far as how the movie won to me, uh, first of all, everything with the stuff being small, like that was funny. Like, um, <laughs> like the big, like the regular size car chasing like the hot, hot wheel size car, like that was funny. <laughs> you know, like it would jump. <laughs> you know, <I> was like, <laughs> no, and um, even the stuff with him being in school, that was, that was really one of the funniest parts of the whole movie when he was running around like a little kid. Like that was that was just so funny to me. Um, and then one thing that was really cool was um, during that scene, if you pay attention, they actually take the music and they actually, I think they take it up a little bit and they make it thinner. So the music sounds smaller. Like there's a theme, I can't remember what it is, but there's a theme that goes with Ant-Man anytime he's doing his deal. And during that scene, that music is actually higher pitched. Um, I also like the look of Ghost. Uh, I think like you were saying, Danny, like how she looked and how she moved and how, how she fought and jumping through the uh, the van and all that type of stuff. That was really interesting. Like I, I really liked that aspect of her. I'm curious as to what they're going to do with her because this was they left that door completely open. And the thing about it is that Ghost, number one in the comic books, is a male. And number two, I don't think they're that important. She's that Im he is that important a character. So to leave it completely open that Ghost could be somebody in the future, I'm very curious as to what Marvel's going to do with that. Um, and overall, oh, the movie was a, oh, yeah. I have a question just about that. Um, okay, if she gets fixed, what good is she? She still has the power. So she gets. How can she have her powers if she's? She said, you know, they were supposed to fix her so she can't phase anymore. I thought that was the whole purpose. No, the, the fixing her was just to get rid of her pain, like to keep her from dying, to keep her from phasing out completely, from what I understand. I mean, I didn't hear them explain that in the movie, so that sounds like an opinion. <laughs> that's, what I was, that's what I was assuming since she didn't die, but, you know, I, I'm not really sure because they didn't explain it at all. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, it's our show. Yeah, was, there was very little explaining in this movie. Yes. <laughs> left a lot of that out there. Yeah, but uh, overall, the movie was fun. You know, uh, like Danny said, um, I don't know if you said it on screen or off, but yeah, a lot some of the jokes didn't land. But still, overall, it, it more jokes landed than than didn't land. So overall, you know, it was a fun movie. You know, I, I enjoyed it. You know, so now let's talk about how this movie failed. So going back to you, Mister Pena. <laughs> <laughs> um man to me i just couldn't really connect i mean so y'all know i've been studying film so i have this big thing about about editing right so and when you watch youtube videos and when you watch people videos who who do videos on instagram and stuff like that you'll see you know some one thing happen and then it'll immediately jump to something else because they don't have a lot of time to put you know transitions in in stuff like that i don't expect to see that right. kind of stuff in a, in a feature film like they in, in feature films they use a lot of stuff like l cuts and j cuts and you know when when you oh. cut when you cut the 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 visuals to another thing but you keep the sound um going from what was just happening like when paul rudd is talking and then you cut to evangeline lily's face for her reaction you know that's a mm -hmm. that's a, a l cut so this movie, it just seemed like it was edited really poorly. Like somebody will be walking and then, you know, just appear in a car. You know, it doesn't explain, you know, some most times in film, like the person actually has to go outside before they can appear in the car in the next scene. And it was just it was just stuff like that that really bothered me because it was so much of it. Um, mm -hmm. And then, that's, you know, that's completely different than Cloak and Dagger, where they show you everything like they show they you show unlocking you the door. Walking down the stairs, <laughs> and they give you they give you serious the music to go with it, like something's right, like happening. Right, exactly. Unlock the door, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, uh, stuff like that. Just, I mean, it really irked me once it became too much. You know, it, it you know, it's it's bad enough that the film does it, but um, you know, and then they overuse like certain jokes like that. The um, the darn truth serum joke was so good, but you know they. You know, sometimes it just felt like they were about to take it too far. 
you know that but it was it was such good material and then ti and um you know the 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 russian guy they didn't get enough time you know they were in the movie but were they really in the movie yeah um right. they didn't use the ants and i mean they used the ants in kind of weird ways but besides the play anthony playing the, <laughs> playing the drum you know, um, it was like up. yeah <laughs> besides for comedic effect you know they didn't uh, like in the first movie they had really inventive ways of using the ants and uh, uh they just i mean they just didn't um there's you know a lot of stuff that i, I didn't really i didn't like lawrence fishberg's like his character's motive him you know being the bad guy you know even though i didn't i mean i couldn't have caught it because they just introduced him and then in the next scene he was the bad guy so um but was he really a bad guy but was he really the bad guy right it's like I, I just didn't i couldn't really connect to, to any of it and then all the stuff with the quantum realm and then I, I really didn't like that they made me think about infinity war again like i was all the way out of that i had already got past it i had already got past all that and then they just <laughs> pulled me right back to it like hit you a little jab to the face jam, jam. yeah it was <laughs> like i i had any more you can ask my wife tiana like i was sitting there and then that was like, okay, it's a post credit scene, you know, whatever. He went to the quantum realm. And then when I saw the ashes fall, I was like, oh, like, oh, that hurts. Like, it hurts. I was, so bad. I was, <laughs> when I went to see it, I told her, I was like, dang, this took the whole family name out right there. It's like, nobody yeah. got to stay. Like, he just took the whole, that whole <laughs> crop out. Like, everybody gone, that pim. whole family. All the Pims <laughs> gone. Like, no more Pims. supposed to pick and choose, like, not take everybody, at least <laughs> one of them there. <laughs> yeah, and then of course they threw in that you know that um that um what did you say the time vortex they threw that in there you know just to set up for Infinity War um and then one thing I'll go back to my what did I like I'll edit this back into my what did I like uh, <laughs> um, um Paul Rudd's daughter his daughter you know saying that she wanted to be a hero because I know she becomes a hero in the comic so. Um, hopefully they use that, you know, and then when they do the time jump stuff, you know, he'll see her in the future. Hopefully that'll be, you know, part of it. But um, all in all, I mean, I just really didn't like the movie. The, the editing really took me out of it. And the comedy, just a, a lot of it didn't land for me. I didn't get enough um, of the ants doing cool stuff. Um, I didn't get enough of the stuff that I liked from the first movie. So it was just... It was just underwhelming. And then that whole scene, you like the scene with him in the middle school. I just hated all of that. Like, it was just <laughs> I hated every second of it. It was just like, why are why are we doing this? Like, she could have went in there and got that herself. Like, he could have yeah. said, oh, she my really daughter's in such, such class. Go in there and get it and bring it back. Why? I mean, it was just it was just too much, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, well, how you uh, really Chuck, do. what are the... What are the three things <laughs> that you did <didn't> like? <laughs> the three things that uh, I think they felt, I thought the story and I guess the plot of the whole story, I think it was kind of too, it was just simple to me. I mean, I guess, yeah, the rescue and the mom, you know, that was that was like the whole purpose of the movie. But I don't know. I just, I just can't really just. I, it felt like it was missing something. It was like it felt like it should have had some more something, some other part of, I guess, a side plot or something, just to kind of help it move along. I guess it just kind of took so long just to rescue her. Like she had two hours, but those two hours lasted for like it seemed like forever. Like mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a couple of days. I'm like, it takes a while to drive to jail. You know, and then do this and that, and then get all the way back over there. And these ants do not fly like freaking, you know, I mean, they, they're like a dang uh, jet or something. This dude gets right. on an ant, and he's instantly back at his house. And I'm like, this is the fastest right. freaking ant I've ever seen. And also, <laughs> let me keep going on that rant. How the heck does the ant just appear every time he shrinks? Every like, time. Is he, is he the ant just sitting there waiting on the sideline like, oh, shrunk, let me go. It's like. Like come on, like this dude is shrinking, <laughs> falling from the sky. He's got one on his pot, right on his shoulder all the time. Yes. <laughs> and, like he was over. He was, all the ants were getting eaten by. Now that part was funny. All the ants started getting eaten by the birds. <laughs> that was yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that I just I don't know. I guess the writing it just didn't. Seem, it wasn't to me as as you know 
full like the first one. The first one kind of had everything in, into it. Like, yeah, I know they had to introduce the characters, introduce the technology, and, you know, you kind of got to see the ants and things. But that was good. I kind of liked and enjoyed that. This one was kind of rushed to me. It's like they kind of just, oh, when you say your mom's like, if they would have found out maybe about the mom later in in the show, like in the movie, like they had something else going on first, and then the mom thing happened, and they're like, oh, wow, you actually, you actually, you know, found, you, you remember my mom was in the, the realm or something, had some connection, and like he was able to have some dramatic experience that brought that about, not just like I took a nap, I woke up, and had a dream that I was your mama. <laughs> and, oh, it's a good <laughs> I was like, I probably could have did that a little bit better. Um, yeah, they just, I don't really go ahead. It was stupid that, you know, all of a sudden she's like, oh, if we don't do it within these two hours, it's, it's going to be closed for another century. Like, you've been waiting 20 years. Like, and yeah. all of a sudden, right now is the time that things are lining up. This, that was just too much, man. Mm. And how does she even know what time is in her realm? Like exactly. she's in like a completely different place. Like two hours here is you know, you know it's one hundred twenty minutes. But there, that could be like a freaking century. Like who even knows what the time in that place is? I, mm -hmm. I, they left. Like you said, they didn't answer a lot of things. But also the next, the next thing, the villains. Uh, I didn't really see very much a villain. I didn't really understand the villains. I don't really think anybody was a villain to me. I mean, the reason the old girl was going after because she's about to die. I'm like, yes, I'm about to die. I probably do things a little, you know, <laughs> a little crazier than I would if I had plenty of time. Like I'm, I'm dying you. and I'm in pain all these really. years. I need y'all uh, to help me, because if you don't help me, I'm gonna die. And if, if, when he told if, her not to kidnap that girl, I was said, I'm, "I'm going to get her. I don't care." Okay, I'm I'm gonna get her. Her. <laughs> Somebody go fix me, because I'm not trying to die here. Like I've been living in pain since I was a little girl. And then y'all trained me as an assassin. I'm like. So they brought the whole shield thing in with that. I was like, what was that for? But okay, I guess to show how she had fighting skills and stuff now. I'm like, mm -hmm. Colson must have Colson didn't get that part of the book. You know, he he didn't know about that that ghost character. In the box. Neither did Fury. The box. Oh, the box. <laughs> yeah, the box. <laughs> right. <laughs> and <laughs> I guess the last thing, I just didn't when I left the theater, it was like like towards that. I was like, oh, okay. That's a good movie. Was, I mean, I wouldn't say it was a good movie. So, oh, it was a movie. I liked some of the things <laughs> in the movie. When are when <laughs> is the real movie coming out? It's like is the real movie almost here? We got another Black Panther coming out soon, or Infinity War four? Like the, I mean the two, like that's kind of when I got left the movie. It's like I kind of just left the movie. It was like I didn't really even think about the movie. Only reason I kind of had to think about it so I know what to say when I talk to you guys. But other than that, I'm like okay, I'm kind of ready for the next mm -hmm. one from the start. This was a, you know, it's like an episode of Shield. You know, I just watched a couple episodes of Shield. Like now I'm ready for a movie. You know. Mm. Right. Yeah, all more, more <laughs> so I could have just I kind of I kind of really could have just saw the end credit scene, you know, and just watched the trailers and kind of kind of been all right. To be honest with you, but you know, exactly. yeah, pretty much I, everything I, that I, happened was in the trailers. Yeah, so you know, yeah, it's a it's a it's a good it's an okay watch. You know, it's a it's a Marvel movie. It's funny. It'll entertain mm. you, but you know, it ain't nothing to you know. It won't change your life, and no, it won't be on any list. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> But yeah, that's it from you 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 finish up what you did. I appreciate you saying the I appreciate you saying the villain thing because that definitely was one of the things I wanted to say. That that definitely wasn't a real villain. So I'll I'll move on to the next one. Um with every movie, every science fiction movie, you gotta have some type of suspension of disbelief. So that means that some things that they present to you, you just gotta say, okay, that's fine. And, and I don't know where you draw the line with that because as I think about it, maybe a uh a tree that talks to you and moves around and says, I am Groot, maybe it's tough to believe as well. But still, <laughs> there's so much uh, just lack of any type of physics in this in this movie. Like quantum entanglement, as far as like using that from another reality to take over your mind, that's not how quantum entanglement works at all <laughs> like y'all just came up with a term that's a real term and just said here here we need a magical way to take over somebody's mm -hmm. mind yeah that's that's not how that works <laughs> you know that's like hey um, that, hey that's just like how it was on uh, that great star wars movie that tori loves you know i just sync your minds together your force powers together so y'all can talk to each other oh you did the you force is in the 
the, there's the, a hey, I just seen, hey that, but I, I'm saying they just you know no, they just magically no. did it like no no <laughs> the force is not real. quantum entanglement is actually like a a viable scientific theory uh, the force is not even close to real it's not the same the thing force. <laughs> the force. <laughs> Don't let you make, don't let me hear you say that again about the force not being real. Say so anyway, <laughs> <laughs> even like when they're chasing cars, like okay, if you got a regular sized car, right, being chased by another regular sized car, and your car shrinks, your car doesn't stay going sixty miles an hour. That's not how that works. I mean, that means that yeah. you would literally have to be your engine would have to be producing like ten to twelve times the power that you were producing before in order for you to speed up your car would explode that's not how that works at all and yeah but i'm getting it. it that's not that wasn't such a big thing it was really a, a minor thing but the quantum entanglement thing and using that to to talk across time and say that was kind of weird to me uh the other thing about that was that okay um in the comic books uh, if you shrink down really small what happens is you are able to go through like a portal and go to a whole other place it's not really about you going so small that the atoms are like satellites and things. It's like you're really going someplace else. But they never described it like that. They just made it seem like, okay, if you go really, really small, then everything seems really, really huge. Okay, so if that's the case, well, Janet Van Dyne was way over here, okay? And she shrunk down to infinitesimally small size. Way over here, like in the middle of the ocean on top of a rocket. And they're way over here in California. How the heck... I mean, this is multiple universes is distance away when you're that small how the heck do you just go over here when you're nowhere not even i mean you're like a galaxy away as far that's as why he had that ship. it just doesn't make sense that's why, that's why he why had that ship, ship this time he had the ship yeah. so he can go like okay here's the other thing why didn't she just if if they've got the power to be super strong even at a small size why didn't she just stay small like why did why is uh hope constantly hitting somebody as a, as a midget and then pff, and then she punch you and then drop back down again why don't she just stay small the whole time i mean because it's boring so to watch Rashad. that would be huh? boring to watch that would be boring to it watch. would be boring to watch but these are the these are the these are the the problems that writers get themselves into you know what i mean like i get it you know but it's like yeah it's like it's just weird say again it was already boring to watch except for that <laughs> one. <laughs> the fire was pretty good she she was kicking butt though she yeah, yeah that was a good between the fight between wasp and and uh and your girl mm -hmm. ghost that was good because it was hard for them to land hits on each other How, why didn't um, your boy die why didn't your boy die when she, he had his her fit his fist through her throat why didn't he die i don't understand <laughs> oh, I guess because she didn't, she say phase. It's kind of like the the flash thing. It's like if they phase through you, you know, it's not gonna hurt you. But if they stop, it's like you're over. I guess. But she exactly. could never control. Her. She was never controlling her. I don't know, man. I'm not even going. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even worth it. It's not even worth. My it. last thing. I really thought, Danny, that you really liked this movie because you did post up one thing. You said that this was like the best in credit scene we started fussing about that because i was like what i, I was i thought the movie was decent i didn't think it was a bad movie it just wasn't up to snuff but i was watching and, and i saw the first end credit scene i was like okay that's something i wasn't really that impressed with it because you've already shown us that same thing in the first movie him shrinking down really small that was like the whole major climax of the last movie he shrunk down so small how's he gonna get back oh he just got the pim thing boom comes back again so if he's in that same situation why would we not believe that he doesn't have this again unless you write into the story hey i've reused all these i don't have any more or they don't work or or something so to me he could just pull that out and just get big again and say hey where'd you guys go I mean, that was a small thing, but it it really wasn't as impactful for me as it could have been. But when I saw that doggone ant at the end of the movie, I was pissed. Like, I told Charlie, it's like, this whole movie went down a whole notch for me. Because I'm like, you made me wait for the uh, for the ant. And no, I'm not going to agree with the fact that the last end credit scene is always the funny one. That is not correct. If They, they, they match them up. They, some of them are funny, some of them are not. You know, I, I made a list to get ready to respond to your comments. 
uh, but I, I forgot where the list was. But the thing that pissed me off about it was that we saw the ant in the trailer. How are you going to, like, if I had never, if I hadn't seen the ant, if I wasn't expecting the ant, then that would have been one thing. But literally, as the scene was playing, I was like, huh, they never showed that particular scene of the ant. Like, he dreamed about him, but it was from a different angle, but they never showed that particular scene of the ant playing the drums from that angle. And then when the movie ends, boom, there it is. I'm like, seriously? You're going to put an end credit scene in the trailers? I am so done with you. So, Okay. Did nah. you have? Did I see somebody with a hand up? <laughs> no. What is that? No. I was at four. Hand up there. That was three. That was just. That was three. The end credits. That was suspension of disbelief. As far as all the technology stuff, why didn't ants uh, uh, why stay small and end credit scene? They were okay. just units <laughs> of each of them. <laughs> so. Should people watch this movie, Danny? Nope. Wait for it to come out <laughs> on Netflix. It's not important. <laughs> and you want to give your closing spiel, sir? Do you even want to give it? <laughs> uh, what is my closing? Yeah. Uh, don't worry about seeing this movie. Go see uh, Luke Cage on Netflix. Go watch yes. uh, Uncle Drew or something. I heard Uncle Drew was good. We should have went and saw that movie. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but, uh, um, skyscraper has come. Are we reviewing skyscraper? We don't need to review skyscraper. Like it's just going to be like the rock punching people. So I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. Even though there. Rampage was actually good, I wish we would have did that one. But Rampage I, was. I enjoyed it. We're, we're actually gonna equalizer. Equalizer's coming out. Oh, equalizer. That's going to be good. But uh, you know, it's been your boy Danny J. Quick. Uh, until next time, stay vigilant, my friends. I'm out. Chuck, should people see? Uh, should people see this movie? And also give us your closing spiel, man. Should they go see this movie? I'm gonna say yeah because if you you've watched all these other movies, go see this one too. Give it some love. Did I freeze? Yes. No, we can. I, we still hear you. Did you? Uh, did you plug up your phone this time? My uh, my phone is. <laughs> everybody I'm just froze. Right on time. <laughs> uh, anyways, but should people see this movie? Well, hold on, let me do a shy thing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> should people see this movie? I think if you've seen all 19 of the other movies, go check it out. You know, you, you got to at least give Marvel, you know, one movie here or there that. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest movie. It didn't change your life, but you go check it out anyway. There's gonna be some Easter eggs in there. You know, it's a fun, it's a fun movie. So I say go check it out. It was a good movie to just you know go, you know to go watch. You know, it was funny. It had some good parts and parts, and it wasn't like you know some of the other movies we've reviewed this year that was just god awful. You know, it just made you sick to your stomach. Like, what's it? Uh, Annihilation. What's Annihilation. Oh gosh, yeah. Don't talk about <laughs> it. Yeah, that like that, it won't make you feel like those. Like it's a decent movie. It just has a lot of holes in it so <laughs> don't expect it like oh this is i'm changed this is black panther but it's quality you know like, no it's not but uh yeah go check it out spend a little bit of money and, and go and go hang out with your friends it's be fun but uh i think that's that's about all i could say about it uh you know so until next time guys i'll catch you later <laughs> I would say I'm almost um, almost exactly saying what you're saying, Charlie. That if you've seen the other, if you're a Marvel fan, yeah, go see this movie. Uh, really, if you don't really care, go see the movie. It's not a bad movie, honestly. I like the movie. It's just not a great movie. It is not. It is not a bad movie whatsoever. Like it's not. Um, and I like Justice League okay too, but I think it, well any bad movie that we've seen, you know, I'm not going any other any bad movies that I'll name will set uh, Danny off. So I won't name them. <laughs> but it's definitely not one of those movies. It's 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 a fun, but it, do you have to see it? Like you have to see Black Panther? You have to see Infinity War? No, it's not that. So you know, if you got some money, go see it. All right, guys. Well, that's been our show. So thank you again. Uh, make sure you look at the description so you can see some of our other playlists where you can find other things that you might like, like uh, our our Netflix playlist or our. Um, 
uh, Luke Cage in particular. Uh, we've got a playlist for uh, black superheroes. We've got a playlist for all the Marvel characters, TV shows, all kinds of things. And make sure to leave a comment uh, so you can tell us what you think about what's happening, or you can also tell me how I'm right. Of course, remember that you gotta subscribe to survive. And subscribe. again, this is subscribe to survive. And uh, of course, this is survive. <laughs> and of course, this is color commentary where we give you views from a different side. Peace. And it's gotta be Sentimental's project That's the only thing that's soothing my soul Hey, Rashad, yeah. I heard that you met um, President Obama. Is that true? Oh, yeah. There was some uh, some other problems with the pen apparatus as well. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. President. No! <laughs> and it's gotta be Sentimental's